Uncertainty surrounding the Intergovernmental Forest Agreement has helped contribute to another loss for Forestry Tasmania. The state-owned company claims the agreement has wiped millions from the value of its forest assets. It comes as the Premier reveals a compensation offer has been made to Guns for its native forest contracts. The settlement deal includes a proposed resolution of disputed debts between the timber company and Forestry Tasmania. It's been another tough year for Forestry Tasmania, despite recording a jump in revenue. The state-owned company lost $12 million for the second year in a row. The closure of the Triabunna Woodship Mill had one of the most detrimental effects on our year-end trading results. Forestry Tasmania holds little hope of the mill reopening. State and federal governments have said the Triabunna would reopen. Uh, when is it going to open? The Intergovernmental Forest Agreement has forced Forestry Tasmania to revalue its assets. The impact of the potential resource unavailability was a 30% reduction in the value of the forest estate. The Statement of Principles process has wiped almost $100 million off Tasmanians' assets. If they can't make money when they're getting the wood for free, they've got no place in a modern timber industry. The company won't be paying the state government a dividend and has shed about 90 employees. Our operating results were affected this year by staff redundancies of $1.6 million. Forestry Tasmania has unveiled a plan to diversify the number of products made from the state's forests. We need to move beyond the traditional products of sawn timber and export wood chips. Bob Gordon's vision is to turn pulp quality logs into high value timber veneers and wood pallets. It's looking to set up several low cost manufacturing facilities. This new technology is quite cheap compared with existing um, rotary veneer technology. Forestry Tasmania claims it's still owed more than $25 million by guns. The Resources Minister Brian Green has revealed the government's presented the timber company with an offer of compensation for its native forest contracts. We'll wait and hear from uh, guns as to see whether they accept the offer or not. Gun shares remain in a trading halt. Brad Markham, ABC News.